Our law enforcement analyst is now weighing in on the case. 12 News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us live in studio. Kristen? Kayla and Shannon, I spoke with our 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell, who provided a breakdown of last week's incident. It's a story that grabbed the attention of many. A high-speed chase through East Providence Friday afternoon. It ended in a three-car crash, the discovery of several guns and more than a thousand rounds of ammunition. The suspect, 43-year-old Joshua Pavo, who previously lived in Coventry, is facing over 100 criminal charges. I firmly believe that the East Province Police prevented some type of major tragedy, either in their city or elsewhere. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell highlights all of the ammunition that was recovered. Magazines contain bullets, and if they're over 10, uh, magazine capacity, they're illegal. They're illegal in Rhode Island, they're illegal federally. So a thousand rounds of ammunition, there's no re other reason for to have that. O'Donnell also speaking about Pavo's criminal history, including dozens of interactions with police departments across Florida, South Carolina, Rhode Island, and Maine. And as of today, new charges out of Coventry. As for um, this defendant, you know, reaching bail and all those things, there's other options for the East Providence Police Department. Uh, I'm sure they're talking to the federal government, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, what violation of the laws in the federal government and maybe flip him right into the federal system where he may get held. Now, Pavo is currently in the custody of Coventry Police and will be arraigned again tomorrow. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.